Hey everyone, welcome back to part 11 of our SAP Capum and Fury full stack development series. In this video, we are stepping into the deployment phase, bringing our Cap application to life with SAP BTP Cloud Foundry environment backed by HANA STI container. We will deploy the backend or data version for service, the Fiery frontend and configure the app router with XSUAA authentication, all using MTI deployment. Special dedication to all my amazing subscribers who reached out asking how to deploy a full stack cap and fiery application to BTP. This video is for you. Thanks for your support and curiosity. It keeps this series going. Now let's dive into the deployment. First, go to the service marketplace in your BTP cockpit and search for HANA Cloud. Click SAP HANA Cloud and create a new HANA subscription. You should select the plan as tools here. Then click create to create and view subscription to see the subscription. Use the HANA Cloud link under subscriptions to open HANA Cloud. The warning message shows that the required roles are not assigned to this account. So let's add all the roles required to create and manage our HANA Cloud instance. Select the user and assign the HANA Cloud role groups. Here. Check the HANA Cloud Viewer, HANA Cloud Administrator, HANA Cloud Security Administrator and Destination Administrator. After assigning the role collection to the user, open the HANA Cloud again. If you are still getting the warning, then log out from the Cloud Foundry and log in again to avoid this warning. After that, create a new instance in Cloud Foundry with HANA Database. In the next section, that is general section, you should only go for Cloud Foundry option. This option will be disabled by default. You can enable this by clicking on the sign in to the Cloud Foundry environment link above the disabled Cloud Foundry button. The space name should be same as your actual Cloud Foundry name. I have given my Cloud Foundry name as dev. So I will use dev here too. In the network and connectivity settings, select allow all IP address. This will allow unrestricted access to the database from any IP. Then click on create instance to start the database. We have finished the database setup now. The next step is to create a Fiery frontend and deploy the application. For that, let's open our business application studio and create a Fiery frontend with a list report page. I'll be doing fast forward of this Fiery app generation because I have already shown that multiple time in earlier videos. If you haven't watched those, then I recommend you to finish those videos first before watching this one. The entire playlist is mentioned in the description. After generating the list report page, install the dependencies using npm install command. Now let's start our CAP application to see the Fiery page using the CDS watch command. This is our Fiery list report page that will fetch data from the HDI container which we have deployed in the last video. Click on go to see the data. This confirms that our application is working properly locally. Now stop the server and follow the commands I am using in the terminal for deploying the app. Use the command cds add hana for production. This adds hana configuration for the production. Then execute cds add xsuaa for production to add authorization and trust management to your project. We need to add the authorization configuration to xsecurity.json for local and cloud foundry integration. For that open access security and Type the following code. This app name is nothing but the application ID from your package.json file. Tenant mode will be always dedicated. Remove this line, this is not necessary. Add one more item authorization configuration with the same link which I am typing here. The last link should be Cloud Foundry API link which need to be copied from your BTP account.
After configuring the XS security, execute the next command which is CDS add HTML fire repo that adds configuration to support deploying UA modules. Then use CDS add app router for production to add an app router to your CAP project for production deployment on SAP BTP Cloud Foundry. Next, use CDS add MDA to add MDA.yml file to your CAP project to enable deployment to SAP BTP Cloud Foundry using multi-target application approach. And CDS add workstone standard to add a workstone module to your MDA.yml file. For building the project, use the command mbt build. We are getting an error cap01 theory project module not defined. To resolve this error, search the module name and remove the cap01 in front of theory project because our app name is theory project, not cap01 theory project. Also, we have three more issues remaining in our MTA file, so let's resolve these issues too. To resolve, first remove this HTML file from the names. Remove HTML5 from service key too. This also need to be changed. So everywhere HTML5 is present, just remove that HTML5 from the name. And the last one, change destination to destination service. If you are getting any package issues while building the app, then delete the package log.json file and use the command npm install to create the log file again. Now try to build your app with mbt build command. After successful build, you can find a new folder mta archives. Open the folder and you will find a mtar file inside. Right click on the file and choose deploy mta archive option. When deploying for the first time, it will ask you to sign in to your Cloud Foundry account. Sign in with the same method which we used to do. Now we got a new error. The key name is not unique. This issue is associated with the MDA file. We have declared that name twice. Remove the second declaration from the MDA file to solve this issue. After that, go to the accesssecurity.json file in your application root and change redirect URLs to redirect URIs. And remove the current authentication service to avoid further errors. It will be created again while deploying the app. Next, go to the MDA file again and change service instance name from HTML5 repo host to HTML5 service. If you want to see all the services running then, use the command CF services or if you are facing any issues with the services, then delete all the existing services using the command CF undeploy application ID hyphen hyphen delete hyphen services. Then go to your package.json and add these lines. Also open your manifest.json and add the last change to it. After all these changes, build and deploy your CAP application. After deploying your MTA to Cloud Foundry, the application URLs will be available in the Cloud Foundry space where you deployed. For now, we will be copying the link from the terminal. Now we can see that our application is loading and when we click on go, it is fetching data from the HDA container. Also let's go and check our Cloud Foundry for the link. Here the first one is Fiery application, second one is Deployer and the third will be your OData service that is CAPM service. And that wraps up the deployment of our full stack SAP CAP and Fiery application to SAP BTP Cloud Foundry using HANA HDA container and XSUAA authentication. 
If this video helped you, make sure to like, share and subscribe to stay updated with the next part of this series. Got questions or stuck somewhere? Drop them in the comments. I am here to help. Thanks again to all the subscribers who inspired this video. See you in the next one. Until then, happy coding.